Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose, and today we're going to be talking about the prairies, written by William Cullen Bryant. Now, before I go into summary analysis of this work, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment so that the channel can continue to grow. So, The Prairies by William Cullen Bryant is a very interesting um, poem. Now again, whenever we're looking at poetry, I always tell people, listen, let's look at the title. Let's look at what the title is saying, what's going on in the title. So this is about the prairies. And, um, you know, right away, the, the poet here, um, what he does, he talks about the prairies, the landscapes, the way that they look. And of course, this is poetry. So the imagery of the prairies... Um, the animals that live there, the animals that hunt and eat. Um, he describes all of them, how they're lush, how there's food, how um, there's life, how it's bustling. Um, he also reflects upon the Indians that used to live there and through war, through battle, um, you know, throughout the years, they have come and gone. Um, and, um, you know, even though that uh, empires and warriors and tribes have come and gone, the prairies are still teeming with life. The animals, no matter what's happened, they, they keep doing what they're doing. They keep reproducing, keep living, keep eating. Um, and it gives a, a really interesting picture of the prairies, of how vast they are, how wonderful they are, um, and how they keep on existing no matter what humans do. Yes, it was interesting when Indians lived there and hunted there and ate there and and produced there. Um, but at the same time, even after their time was gone, the prairies still teem with life. The prairies still go on. Um, and this poem definitely makes us think about nature itself and how resilient it is. Um, it also makes you think about how, you know, mankind, we, we think that, you know, we're important. We think that we're significant. We think that uh, we're the most important things on the earth, but really the earth just keeps on going. Nature keeps on going, um, whether or not we are here or, or not. It just keeps on moving along no matter uh, what we do. If we build empires, it's here. If these em these empires come down, it's here. Um, so really, this poem looks at the prairies. It looks at uh, the, the different um, animals that live on the prairies, how they've coexisted on the prairies. Um, it looks at the vast um, amount of landscape um, and how special this land is. Um, when you're thinking about romanticism, this is what romanticism is about. What, what nature can tell us, what messages we can get from nature, um, and what experiences we can draw from nature. Um, you know, it definitely, it's a little bit sad because, you know, when you think about the prairies or the American prairies, you think about how the Indians used to live here and during the, the American Revolution and during, um, you know, the manifest destiny of America, how, you know, Americans got rid of, um, you know, through disease and warfare, how Americans got rid of the Indians. Um, and it's quite sad, but at the same time, it, it, this poem, you know, William Cullen Bryant here, he keeps on going. He tells us that, listen, even though that uh, these people are not here again, the prairies are still wonderful. Uh, they're still um, teeming with life, teeming with activity, teeming with behavior, because the animals, they're not concerned with the affairs of humankind. They just keep going. They keep existing uh, no matter what happens. Um, so this poem is, is very reflective on that, our place within the world, the animals' place within the world. Um, and what, you know, the, the, pra the prairies mean to the animals, the buffalo, and, you know, every single animal um, that, that existed there with humans and without humans. Um, it's a very interesting poem that in terms of deeper meaning and analysis here, it really makes us look at, well, look at nature, because nature is definitely resilient, and nature is definitely unforgiving, um, and really it's not, it's not concerned with the affairs of humans. Um, so the, Amer the, the Indians were here, they're gone, the Americans come, maybe one day they won't be here anymore, and whoever comes next will come next, but nature, it definitely out outlasts everyone, especially the prairies. The prairies will just be here, and they they'll continue existing with teeming life with animals of all kinds, um, no matter what we do. So this poem definitely has you thinking about um, the importance of human beings, our mortality, and what we truly mean to the world and the things around us. 
Um, so that's my summary. That's my analysis. Please remember to leave a like, subscribe, and or comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video.